Okay, now here we go. Uh, again, different video. Anyway, this is Owner Operator Daily coming at you. I'm in a new truck. I'm in a 2019 Cascadia uh, Automatic. Love it. I'm a company driver. Uh, I got away from owner operator and lease operator and all that because point blank, you ain't gonna make no damn money doing it. People will holler you can. Well, good luck to you. I've never found a way to do that. Uh, maybe I'm just stupid, but you know, they each their own. But we're here today to discuss Ari Garrison. Ari Garrison lies, cheats, and swindles their drivers. Point blank, ain't no two of fans are about to buy that. Uh, their trucks are garbage when you get them. They try to force you into new, brand new equipment. The truck payments are ridiculous. The balloon payments, ridiculous. Uh, they spend a lot of time sitting. Uh, their freight rates suck. Uh, Dollar twenty to dollar forty five, maybe dollar sixty sometimes. Every now and then you see a dollar eighty a mile. Their main customers are chicken you know, plants. So I'm not gonna name any, don't want any legal, you know, mumbo jumbo coming back at me, so uh not going to do it. Uh I'm not going to say where I'm at now. I'm happy where I'm at now. I'm happy being a company driver, uh Perfect example is Friday night, waving bunk sleep. Somebody pulled out, or tail swing hit my trailer, or hit my truck. Did a lot of damage. I think George's gonna have to be replaced. It's probably about four or five thousand dollars worth of damage to the truck. I got paid for finishing up a 10 hour break while I waited on a uh, mechanic to get in the next morning to look at it. Uh, it made do some money. Uh, not saying where I'm at because there's too many people out there that want to cause problems for people when they get in a disagreement with them. Uh, if you're a friend of mine, you know where I'm at. If, you're not, if you are a friend of mine don't know where I'm at, message me and I'll get to you. Uh, but back to Garrison. When I left Garrison, they had over $10,000 of my money. They owed me. They finagled the numbers and come back and say, oh, you owe us $3,000. But we're going to be nice to ride it off. Yeah, okay. That's awful nice, though. You can see you just soaked in the uh, The reason me and them split up is uh, they ended my contract based on a claim that I had, quote, unquote, trashed the hotel room when I was staying at the company hotel. I did not trash it. Uh, the hotel wouldn't empty the trash can, would not, did not want you putting the trash outside your door, but said it made it look trashy, well, yeah. And, uh, you know, so you had to pretty much keep the trash in the room. I did not check out. I went down to the uh, yard. I'd gotten a load the next morning. And uh, I went to the yard, did some laundry, and come back to the hotel. When I did, I was informed I'd already been checked out. Not a word about the problem with the room. Not, you know, hey, you left the room trashy, anything. Well, handed them the keys and left. I was a little irritated. Uh, now I've gotten all my stuff out of the room, but I intended on coming back and getting the trash out of the room. And, you know, when they empty the trash but anyways, on, you know, no more about that, uh, went to a customer right up the road, I was called to come back in by the manager of, or uh, the vice president of a driver relationship, I'm not going to mention his name again, no legal issues, you know He didn't have the balls, and I'm going to say it point blank, he was a coward. He didn't have the balls to wait and fire me. I got there 45 minutes after uh, the office closed. No, instead he delegated it to some, you know, lower person. And the next morning he, 
you know, wouldn't even listen to me, wouldn't even discuss it with me, made false claims. That it had been, you know, a problem in the working, but he could not give me any details. So long and short of it, uh, I ended up leaving. Uh, they put me in, my wife and daughter were riding with me. I put it on the street, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Uh, told me it would be 45 days to get your last check. Wouldn't even give me $500 uh, to help me, you know, for a week to get a new job. Even though they, at the time, knew they had over $10,000 of my money. I'm not the only one. There are several other drivers uh, that got screwed over. They took stuff that I put on the truck that was supposed to be returned to me and kept it. Such as uh, wheel balances, centromatics, uh, or something like that. Uh, Claim the truck took $600 to clean, the truck didn't take $600 to clean. Uh, long story short, stay far, far away from where you get. That's my advice. Take it or leave it. Y'all have a nice day. I'm out of here. Maybe I'll make some more videos later.